Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball, and right now we're joined with Evan and Billy from the band Biohazard, and if you watch the show, you know that I talk about this band a lot, and glad that you guys can be here. And you just got off the road, right? Yeah, we just did about 40 dates over in Germany and the rest of Europe with Creator, and uh, the response was fantastic. We're glad to be here, and our U.S. tour starts three days ago. Today's our day off. Actually, we have a gig tonight in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. Reading, Pennsylvania. Came back with a lot, of, a lot of injuries. Yeah? Tell me about it. I mean, how did the shows go over there? They were great. We, we have a tendency to um, believe that if, if kids are paying a lot of money to come and do a show, they should enjoy it, you know? And sometimes they put up these, these uh, whatever, barricades they're called, and we'll encourage the kids to ignore the barricades and ignore the bouncers because, it, you know, don't let people oppress you for whatever reasons. Um, and what happened was the kids, you know, they ignore the bouncers and ignore the barricades, go crazy, jump up on stage. I caught a boot in my forehead, three stitches there. I do a lot of flips off stage. I got six stitches in the back of my head. Bobby fell through a window with 13 stitches. But I'd rather come back from tour with many, you know, a few scars. Battle wounds. Yeah, battle wounds, you know, with a good tour than no scars, you know, and a poor tour, you know. So cool. do you not, you don't like it when the crowd's just sitting there? No, it's not you about, it's a release of energy, you know, that's what it's all yeah. about. It, it's, for us, you know, we figure everybody in the world's got the same kind of problems. Everyone's got all this negative vibes all inside of them from all the, you know, stuff they put up with all week with their regular daily lives. And we figure Biohazard's live show could be a positive outlet for everybody to channel. This is good, healthy them. release, going to the show, moving yeah, around. Yeah, I mean, you saw that some at action. your own club, man. Right, you know, kids I had just, fun. Kids going crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk a little bit about the American show and, of course, about the new record, Urban Discipline. But we're going to play a commercial right now, and then when we come back, we'll be talking to the guys from Biohazard. Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. We're here with Evan and Billy from the band Biohazard, and we're talking a little bit about the new record. And right now, we're going to be playing a video that you've seen on the Headbangers Ball quite a bit. And I love this video. Dig the song. It's for punishment. And uh, we talked earlier, you told me a kind of interesting story about making this video. Yeah, we, we wanted it to be really informal. This was our first video, so we wanted to kind of introduce biohazards to the rest of the world. And like, as you know us, we're like informal guys. We're just regular people went out on a rock star tip. And the you know, kids who come to our shows know that we you know we hang out, we'll talk to anybody. So we just got on the phone and called up basically most of our friends and said, why don't everybody meet us at the Brooklyn Bridge and then meet us in downtown, in, uh, downtown Brooklyn or whatever uh, later on. And we'll go down to Wall of Fame where we visit graffiti. And we'll just show everybody ourselves in our own natural environment, and that's what we did. Now, usually when you do filming in a location, especially the Brooklyn Bridge, you have to get all these permits and get security in. What did you guys do? Nothing. We, we went to the we Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> we call it poaching it because, it, and we just, uh, I mean, if you see the video, I don't think anyone's going to stop us. So. Right. Yeah. It looks. It's like you see the bunch of people that are in this video. I wouldn't want to be the cop on that beat that says you guys aren't filming a video here. I mean. But it looks like you guys had fun, and we're going to play the video, and we're going to be talking to the guys from Biohazard. And right now, let's look at their video. Here's Punishment. We're Danny and Bobby from the band Biohazard. You just saw their video, and here's a couple other guys from the band. And I want to talk a little bit about this discipline, which is out in your stores now. Now, you guys have been around since about 88, right? Yeah, uh, April will be five years for us. Now, you come from the scene that they call the New York hardcore scene, right? No, we, we uh, oh, okay. are a product of it. I mean, that's obviously where we evolved from, but uh, you know, we don't like to put any uh, categories on our music. You know? Right. We like to learn all the different styles of music and incorporate it in with the, uh, the band and, and all of our creative ideas, but our approach is definitely from, you know, New York hardcore base. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what is the styles of music that you're in I mean, you can definitely hear the heavy stuff coming out, but you also hear a little bit of, like, I mean, it's not hip hop, but there's like some rap influences in yeah. it. Or do you not see that? Well, we're to we're to uh, a lot of different stuff. Anything the music we play is really intense, you know, and uh, we like anything that's intense, you know, mm -hmm. anytime be it intense type hip hop or like you know uh, anything, man, anything that's like emotional and, and does something to you, you know, is stuff we listen to. A lot of older stuff, stuff like Jimi Hendrix and old Black Sabbath, and you know. All that stuff has been a big influence on us. I guess more the, the hip hop <clears throat> feel and uh, the rap approach to the vocals and um, funky feel and plus the hardcore. It's just like the hardcore, it's, it's where we're from, you know? It's just, uh, it's easy for us to be honest in that way, you know? If we, right. we're doing anything else, I feel we'll be being dishonest. So you're just telling it exactly how you guys yeah, are feeling on certain know, that's subjects. It. Anything so. that comes out of us is basically just, you know, natural. You yeah. know, just let it flow, man. Okay, we're gonna be back talking to these guys in just a bit. Right now, we're going to be playing a video from The Cult. Here is Love Removal Machine. 
Back on the Headbangers Ball with Biohazard. The new record is called Urban Discipline. I got it. I suggest you get it. I want to talk about a little couple of songs here. First of all, could you explain uh, a little bit the lyrics of Black and White and Red all over? Because people have got different misconceptions on this stuff, and the band, actually. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot of closed-minded people out there, and uh, we definitely try to raise consciousness about certain things, you know, and, and no matter how smooth or how in your face and up front you write something, people will still try and read between the lines to try and pick something out, you know, just to point fingers and, and whatever. And sometimes they'll just look at the title of the song without even reading the lyrics or finding out what the band's yeah, about. Yeah, they see black and white and they go, oh, it's a racial Racial, thing. racial. Because no. you, you heard people well, say, is. oh, that's a, that, you guys are right. They're, this is a racist band. You hear no, stu no, listen, you're see, stupid stuff all the time. Everybody out there has got to chill out and they got to wise up and they got to wake up out of this trance that they're in with the TV. You know what I'm saying? They're listening to the almighty TV, telling them who to hate, telling them what to hate and why to hate it. Just the media in general, not just TV, you know. It's like... News also is, is you know, they, they play what they feel is news, you know. If you ran the news, it would be Ricky's news. Or right. if I ran the news, I would, I would put on what I feel was fit news. So, I mean... The, the song is basically about the media and, and the media manipulation of, of people. And it's also about racism and, and fascism. You know, the first line of the song is fascism is the epitome of ignorance. We just went over to Germany and sang it to everybody. You know what I'm saying? And they got yeah, a real problem, problem over there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, people here don't really realize, you know, we played a show the other night and we said to the crowd, you know, we just got back from Germany and some kid yelled out, you know, screw Germany. And then we stopped and we were like, you know, you know, that's wrong. That's a stupid attitude. You know what? I said, for all you people, I said, Never mind you tonight, just the rest of the set's going out to the kids in Germany or whatever, you know, whatever we did. We did it for our own reason. Because people have to realize that there's a big world out there, you know what I'm saying? And uh, if they want to be closed-minded and not read the lyrics or take the time out to find out about a band like us or any other band out there that's trying to speak about reality, you know, we got no time to write songs about Satan and girls and cars, you know. Right. Might as well be writing about Mickey Mouse and fairy tales. Writing about you know stuff that means a lot to you. Well, Thanks a lot for taking the time to talk to us. They're on a club tour. Check them out. They even do a Bad Religion cover on the CD, and it's, it's cool stuff. I like it. And uh, good luck with everything. Peace They're out. an American tour. And uh, we'll be back with more Headbangers Ball, including a video from Sex Pistols. So stick around.